Welcome back to the Undervalued Investor YouTube channel, where today we're exploring Mira Pharmaceutical, a company we've kept our eye on that recently announced that they've been utilizing AI to help continue to expand and prove out their pipeline that we're going to uncover in this video, trading on the NASDAQ under MIRA for around a dollar a share, or a $14 million market cap has been caught in the perpetual downtrend of small caps that are largely underappreciated in the current market environment. If this is a conversation you'd appreciate, as always, consider hitting that like button because this is a preclinical stage pharmaceutical development company with two neuroscientific programs targeting a broad range of neurological and neuropsychiatric disorders. The company's novel oral pharmaceutical marijuana, which is basically Mira 1A, is currently being developed to treat adult patients suffering from neuropathic pain, anxiety, and cognitive decline, often associated with early stage dementia. Now, we have an exclusive licensing agreement for Ketamir 2, a unique patent-pending novel oral ketamine analog under investigation to potentially deliver ultra-rapid antidepressant effect for patients who have not had a meaningful response to conventional treatments, providing new hope for individuals battling treatment-resistant depressions uh, and major depressive disorders with suicidal ideations. Taking a look at that pipeline as it stands today, we're still kind of in the IND phase for uh, Mira 1A, um, but there's going to be a lot of potential here as I think people understand the effects of marijuana and some of the compounds. So these companies are trying to rapidly expand uh, these to help people with severe issues that, you know, traditional drugs come with a lot more side effects than I believe these ones do. But I want to read into this recent news articles. They released a breakthrough data from artificial intelligence simulations. And there's a lot of interesting things in here. Simulations that show that compared to plant-based medical marijuana, there may be significant potential advantages to the therapeutic potentials of Mira 1A, such as its potential to offer superior anti-anxiety treatment, increased cognitive, uh, and without the increased appetite associated with THC. But I just want to read through some of the highlights here because this is very uh, technical. Uh, they're saying that they're unlocking anxiety relief through the 5-HT1A receptor activation. Now, just to simplify this, they basically say this finding could potentially result in providing a new therapy for anxiety disorder interventions by addressing uh, disrupt signaling associated with this receptor. They're battling appetite concerns, again, with that 5 h uh, this time HT2C receptor modulation. And this stands out as basically a potentially viable solution for those seeking uh, neuropharmacological, uh, if I'm saying that correctly, relief from anxiety and cognitive impairment uh, without the side effect of increased appetite through the company's uh, THC. And then finally, cognitive enhancement uh, with dopamine D1 receptor activation. And they're claiming that Mira's 1A activation of the D1 receptor may prove uh, the way of a novel interventions in disorders uh, associated with cognitive in uh, parament. And there's some anecdotes in here that are interesting, like in groundbreaking field of uh, neuropharmacology, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning have ushered in a new era of drug discovery and analysis. Now, basically through the lens of AI, one gains a more complex demonstration of Mira 1A's potential properties at receptors that are not affected by THC. Uh, Mira 1A is uniquely positioned to potentially prove, or sorry, provide anti-anxiety effects, mitigate THC's known side effects of increased appetite and promote enhanced cognitive, uh, basically cognition, making it an exceptional candidate for addressing complex neuropsychiatric conditions. So this is very intriguing what this company is working on. And currently, uh, based off their last financial reports, they were sitting on about, again, keep in mind, this is for Q3 of about $9 million in assets, very few liabilities, uh, basically about $5.8 in cash. Their burn rate uh, was increasing for this quarter, um, basically leading up to about, we can see the net loss attributed was about $3.5 million. So it's the cash they have in the bank, presuming they stick at the same run rate, they should have a decent amount of cash to get them into the beginning of this year, or at least the first half, I would presume, um, depending on where they're advancing these trials. But as they build out more and more news articles and start proving out the capabilities um, of their pipeline, I think there should be some real potential behind the stock to rally and hopefully give them further cash available to continue um, advancing these uh, these incredibly uh, helpful uh, medications. But I will pass that question off to you. I'd love to know what you think about Mira Pharmaceutical Inc. in that comment section below.